Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Corey, and I'm so happy to be here with you all today. I think it's so important for us to kind of just blow the doors open and expose to you how you can actually get well. My goal with you, and I'm going to present to you today, uh, Perform Neuropathy Rehabilitation Therapy. And what this is, is it's a way that we can recharge the nerve, we can get you the, the pain relief that you're looking for, and get you off of the medication merry-go-round that probably 90% of you are on. Now, we have to look at what clinics do throughout the United States. How are people being helped with peripheral neuropathy? And what are the most successful approaches towards doing that? Well, I've been taking care of people with chronic conditions and peripheral neuropathy for over 12 years. I've been in practice for, for 22 now. And when we look at how a nerve sends a signal from your brain down past the cerebellum, which gives you your accuracy, your balance, your coordination, down the spinal cord, out those little holes of each and every vertebra to the tip of your toes, and to the tip of your fingers and back to the cord and back up to the brain again. How does that happen and, and what's the requirements for you to get a nerve impulse? I think that's super, super important. So during the PNRT therapy, what we want to look at is we're going to look at how when we have damaged tissue, whether it be your foot or your hand, when we have nerves that are not being functional, they're not taking in the nutrients and they're not getting energy back into the core to give you the stimulation to allow that circulation to, to occur and for you to get normal sensation back into the fingers or toes. We want to talk about how we can help regenerate that, how we can get that back into a functional mode so that you can get the sensation back and get off that merry-go-round of medications. So what I want to do is I want to talk to you. The problem with peripheral neuropathy is really, you know, when you come back, it's a pain and it's a numbness. We lose this sensation, the nerves start to die off, they start to degenerate and regress. And the most commonly prescribed pharmaceutical nerve pain medications for neuropathy and nerve pain fall into three categories. Either you're taking an anticonvulsant or anti-seizure medication or an antidepressant because your doctor thinks that it's all in your head and the pain may not be uh, quite as bad, or narcotics. And so they fall into these three categories. And we've got many, many drugs that give you problems with peripheral neuropathy. Statin drugs will cause peripheral neuropathy over a period of time and, and so forth. So you might have some accompanying chronic conditions that have led you to have peripheral neuropathy. Many of you might even not know, you know how or why you have peripheral neuropathy. You're not diabetic and, and maybe we need to look more towards toxicity in your situation. So in reality, not one medication out there helps heal the nerves. And we have to keep in mind that even with the most effective modalities in pain management for nerves, uh, the signal that triggers the pain, these medications don't fix them at all. And that's astounding because we, for five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, we end up taking these medications to just control the pain. I'm all about regeneration. I'm all about re recovering the functions that we once had if we've lost them and being able to get that function back into the body again. It doesn't matter if it's cancer, we know see that people can go through spontaneous remissions or they can heal their underlying conditions and the cancers can go into remission. Well, all illness is in the same way. And we have to look at not only the, what we're putting in our body, but we have to look at what we're doing and what, our, what we call our environmental toxins are and how they're interfering with our body's function. But we are an energy being, meaning everything based around our body's functions are based on energy. So when we look at energy, we have to look at what's going on with the nerves and how can we fix that underlying uh, problem with getting energy back into the nerves and to stimulate that whole system of detoxification within these cells again. Well, what I'm going to talk to you about today is based off of energy. And I want to just take a step uh, and give you a little bit of history. We look at something called the Schumann Resonance. And the Schumann Resonance is the Earth's uh, frequency. The Schumann Resonance is a magnetic healing pulse on the Earth. This naturally occurring magnetic pulse measures at 7.83 hertz, and it's a Mother Earth's heartbeat. So if you think about what is that energy that's, keeping around, that's held around the Earth, uh, that's what we call a Schumann Resonance. Laboratory research shows that exposing living cells to the Schumann Resonance has, uh, has an effect of increasing their immune protection. So our body is actually in a better state with the Schumann resonance. And that's one reason why it's, it's always great for you to be able to get your feet back in the ground, something called earthing. And you can look it up on YouTube or Google. But 
When you go back and you put your feet in the ground, you've got an electromagnetic field around your body that's unmatched as in consequence of when you're standing on cement that has rebar uh, uh, metal underneath it and you're not on the Earth's gravitational forces and you're not taking in that normal Schumann uh, resonance. So when we look at this, the importance behind using a 7.83 Schumann resonance frequency when we look at nerve regeneration is that it takes time for nerve cells to repolarize. We've got to have a cell that contracts or that gets stimulation, has that break in time to heal and to reset itself between this transmission of nerve impulses. So during this time of relaxation between that break of that nerve impulse and the next one, minerals are delivered uh, by the increased blood flow and they must be able to squeeze through the little holes in the cell wall and then return to the bloodstream. This takes time. So within that period of time, this is when we can allow for nutrients to get back in and toxins to get out. We have found that if we slow down the treatment to 7.83 times per second, it gives nerves time to do that repolarization and that's imperative. We want to make sure that we utilize the proper therapeutic modalities to get you well. Now, this is called a rebuilder, and this device is a highly specialized TENS uh, EMS unit that is uh, using cancer, diabetic, and other healthcare offices throughout the world. Now, it's a neuroelectric therapy device that is not like a normal TENS unit, okay? So it's not a TENS unit that you're gonna go on eBay and pick up for $25 to $150, okay? This is a specialized uh, unit, and this is how it works. The nerve rebuilder will rebuild the nerves by using a patented waveform that conforms automatically to each patient. So it's adapting, it's adapting for you. It calms the nerves and increases blood flow to the affected areas and allows for the nerve cells time to heal in between that impulse so that we can get nutrients in and we can get toxins out and we can give the nerve a charge again. So the nerve rebuilder has a built-in microprocessor that automatically measures several physiological functions within your body when you use this. Beginning with the first healing signals that are sent through, it uses a patented 7.83 uh, waveform similar to that Schumann resonance that we talked about that automatically adjusts itself to the in individual patient's needs delivering a wave of current that forms itself uh, to the exact wave needed to balance the deficits of the damaged nerve tissue. So we want to use a frequency that's actually adapted to the nerve tissue that works within the natural environments that our body's designed to live in. Now functions by measuring your nerves can then be treat, treated with this healing, healing impulse specifically tuned to your body's needs at 7.83 times per second to recuper, recuperate the natural nerve functions. When you first turn the unit on, now what it's going to do is it's going to set the output parameters based on your physical mass and measuring the electrical, the analog, and the digital burden on your body. So it's going to actually take an impulse and it's going to feed back the signal from the unit to your body specifically on how that feedback mechanism goes through this microprocessor. It's then able to identify its user body type regardless of your gender or your weight, and it's able to easily identify the location of the body that is being treated. This is a unique safety feature of the Rebuilder, and there is no other device that has such safety measures set in place as part of the unit's function. Now, we want to talk about how this works, and the stimulation gently delivers a compensatory wave that frees the nerve from, of the inflammation by letting blood and vital minerals reach the damaged tissue, thus helping it to heal and decrease the inflammation. And this brings a relief to the patient. So by getting nutrients in, by getting toxins out, by increasing circulation within the tissues, and by giving the nerve uh, electrical impulse that will allow it to fire back to the spinal cord and then back to the feet again, we're going to be able to help the nerves so that they can completely go through a healing process. Now these healthy signals of the peripheral nerve rehabilitation therapy will re-educate the nerves, then repolarize the nervous me uh, system membrane, the cell membrane, and it reestablishes impulses to the nervous system. And this also will help increase circulation. Now, if you have lesions on your feet, if you have ulcerations, then we don't want to use this over open wounds, okay? So that's super, super important. But let's look at a normal peripheral nerve waveform. 
and hopefully you can see this on, on the screen. But we've got a normal uh, peripheral nerve waveform over here on your left side of the screen. And this upslope is a smooth curve up. As we come to the top, we get a uh, flat, we get a stable voltage potential, how much stimulation reaches that point. And then we get a smooth curve downward. Then we get a long flat reflex period of that break so that the nerves can regenerate, repolarize, and re-nourish themselves, and you get that break in between. Now, so this is normal that I just went over with you. Let's look at an abnormal peripheral nerve waveform. Within this area, we're going to see variations on the upside that indicate numbness. So you see these indentations that you see here. We're not going to have that, uh, that flat, stable voltage potential on the right. And then variations when we come back down, we're going to see the variations on the downside, which indicate pain. So we're going to see abnormality between what's normal versus what's abnormal. And in the process, when we go back and we look at those combined, we're going to see that the rebuilder compensatory waveform is going to come back. And when we have a problem and we have a break in that potential, that rebuilder is going to go back and we're going to give a alternative compensatory type of signal into that area. So we're going to look at those abnormalities and we're going to look at it on, this, on the numbness standpoint, we're going to look at it on the pain standpoint. But we want to make sure that these abnormal waveforms are corrected. And just as a cardiologist can analyze the results of the waves on an EKG when they check the frequency, that's what they're checking for when they go through and do an EKG, they're checking for the frequency of your heart. And every part of your body has a frequency. You can Google your heart, you can Google your thyroid, you can Google nerve impulses. Uh, you know, we have a frequency to every part of our body. So we also know that the peripheral nerves have a very particular shape of a waveform, and therefore we can diagnose it in that way as well. Now, why not just get uh, inexpensive, uh, cheap TENS unit off the internet? Well, I wanna to talk to you about what the difference is, because there's a vast difference, and you're not gonna get the results, and you may even cause damage to yourself if you go through it and you use a TENS unit. The common TENS unit essentially uses what we call a square waveform. And that delivers the same square waveform over and over and over to everybody that uses it. There's no feedback me mechanism. Um, it's an unnatural and uncontrolled signal that pulses between 90 and 100 times per second. So we're looking at 7.83 times per second versus 90 to 100 times per second. These signals cause nerves to temporarily stop operating. This method temporarily provides some pain relief. However, use of a standard TENS can cause more inflammation, cause more numbness, and can be, cause permanent damage to the nerves over time. The square waveform of a common TENS unit is like beating something into submission because it's harshly being hammered, and it's hammering those nerves over and over and over, and we don't want to just keep beating the nerves up. They're already sick. So the square waveform of a TENS unit is like just beating things up. So what we see with the standard uh, TENS unit is you're going to block some pain signals. You may get temporary relief, but we're going to also induce numbness. We're going to induce cell death over time with those sick nerves. We need to make sure that we're using the proper waveforms. Now the Rebuilder is registered with the FDA and as a type two medical device, it's recommended for the following, chronic pain, post-surgical pain, muscle spasms, increasing local blood circulation, preventing slow muscle atrophy, re-educating muscles, and increasing range of motion and preventing venous thrombosis or bl the blood clots. Uh, now, this does not have any side effects and the treatment is proven to work on every kind of type of pain and numbness. So if you're getting pain in your neck, you're getting pain in your low back, we can also utilize it in those ways and I've utilized that with patients as well. So we want to look at that we don't want to interfere with any treatment or medications. And this is not going to interfere with anything else that you're doing. But what we want to do is in the process, we want to decrease your symptoms. We want to make you more comfortable. We want to make sure that we get you back to the activities you love that you've lost doing in your life now. And we want to do it in a safe manner so that we can get your, your medications decreased and you have to work with your doctor in conjunction with that. I don't take anybody off medications, but I want you to work with your doctor with in, in that respect. 
So we're gonna look at, these are thermography pictures. And as we see before treatment with thermography, we're gonna see that the left toes don't even show up because of the poor circulation they're coming down in here. Now the arrow should have been over here and I apologize. But we wanna look at the after effects of after using the rebuilder system. We will see that the low, the toes are now visible. You can actually see an outline of those toes now. And you can see the changes in color with the thermography as well. Where we have lots of circulation, we've got cold toes, uh, we use thermography in the office when we check people and we'll see that you know we might have 65 70 degree toes over here and we'll come back over here and we'll see that we're up in the 75 80 to 85 90 range and we should have a normal uh, thermography reading so when we look at case studies there was a study done and we had 551 patients for the nerve pain and they use a rebuilder in this process and 91 percent reported success and the patients reported no side effects along the way. So it's super, super important that we look at this. Now, peripheral nerve rehabilitation, we want to correct and we want to improve the entire functions of the entire nerve from the head to the toes. And we have to also look at the other issues, the underlying causes, because we can help you with the pain relief. We can get the pain to subside. We can get the nerves to, to come back. We can get you off some of the pain medications but you have to correct the underlying causes of what caused it. So if you have diabetes, we gotta handle the diabetes. You have to get the blood sugar within reason. Um, a lot of people have B6 uh, toxicity in addition to B6 deficiency, both of them will give you peripheral neuropathy. B12 deficiencies will give you peripheral neuropathy. So there's a vast reason why with mercury in the teeth or mercury in the system or lead, uh, these will give you peripheral neuropathy. We've got a slew of medications out there that will give you peripheral neuropathy. So whatever your individualized case is, that's where I come in and that's where I'll do the investigation with you if you want to work up with me on one, on one basis to, to get to the underlying causes. But I want to put this video out to you because you know so many of you are suffering and I'm not, uh, I'm not affiliated with Rebuilder. I'm not, uh, I'm not on the board with them or anything like that. Uh, it's something I've used in my office for the last 10 years, and I found that it is extremely beneficial for people to help you begin the journey to get off of these medications and to get your health back to uh, a normal function again, to get your health back and, and make those changes that caused this in the first place. So that's what we want to look at. Now, if your goals are to decrease your pain, to improve the underlying conditions and get off the dangerous medications, if you're interested in using a rebuilder, I'd like you to contact me. You can set up a complimentary, no charge whatsoever, peripheral neuropathy breakthrough call with me and we'll discuss the best ways for you to regain your health, to stop the pain, to regain the independence and get back to the lives that you love. You can contact me at fixmyneuropathynow.com forward slash appointment and you have to put that other forward slash on there also. Okay, we also have a tab up on the top if you go to fixmyneuropathynow.com and uh, you can watch a video. I have a, pre a presentation video on there as well, but you can also just schedule the appointment there. Okay, but you do need to go to fixmyneuropathynow.com forward slash appointment forward slash and we can set up that breakthrough call for you and uh, look forward to helping you in any way that I can. Uh, we have a lot of other videos coming up and I'm so excited to be here. Please, if you have any questions, if you have comments, I'd like you to uh, uh, make some comments in the post below. Uh, I'll answer them. Um, uh, I've handed off my administrative duties uh, with my staff, so they're going to be handling that and I'm going to be focusing purely just on you. I want to make sure that we can get everybody well from peripheral neuropathy, get you back to life and get you independent and loving life again. All right. Uh, blessings to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.